All right, guys, so just like that, Charlotte, North Carolina is going to be in our rear view mirror. We are headed to Rutherford 10. Rutherford 10, North Carolina on the Thermal Rail Belt Trail. After that, we're heading to our secret ride. So, yeah, we'll catch up with you down the road. So we have made it up to the Thermal Belt Rail Trail, me and the beautiful, wonderful, talented Mrs. Southern e-biking. This is just a little look of where we're starting out from. And Spindale, North Carolina. That's right, Spindale, North Carolina. Blaine? Blaine? Yes. We thought this was a sleepy little town, but apparently it's not. This is, is the, the home of the American, American Dairy Goat <laughs> Association. We, we do some work for them too actually i don't know if we did it for them or for somebody else okay there ain't no well, telling that's right all right so we're gonna head on out here and see what the now is this a rail trail you... watch that car yep Yoke. got one right here too honestly blaine um <laughs> we both need well, we to got watch all better. kinds of cars around yeah there was no single car coming through this little town we need you need to back yeah Need or, okay. Well, no, you're good. They're All turning. right, let's roll. Okay. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I mean, we have we're getting ready to start out, and everybody in the town decides to come and see us off. Yeah. So, okay. First, first off. Oh, there's a cargo e-bike right there. Yeah. That might be a bike shop. We might have to see about stopping that if we need if we can. That's if they're open. Exactly. Did you tell everybody ain't nothing open? Yeah, we had several places that we wanted to stop at. Bike coming our and, way. And uh, it's not going to end up happening because they're all closed. This actually is the Sunday of our uh, trip. And a lot of the places are closed up right now. So we're just going to go ahead and roll on. Uh, this is halfway between where we came from and where we're going to. We'll put it that way. That's that's cryptic, Dwayne. Do what? <laughs> that's cryptic. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, but first and foremost, let's say welcome. We've, you know, we've had a lot of new subscribers as of lately, and I want to welcome all you guys uh, to the Southern e-biking. And uh, tell your friends, your family. Yeah. Your co-workers, anybody you know in jail, the lawyers, the attorney, everybody in town, put up a billboard. Tell them to subscribe to Southern E-Biking. <laughs> okay. How about that? <laughs> How about Ann? Ann, what else do they got to do, Michelle? Well, not yet. They got to hit that oh, bell. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say the whole, God bless, keep the world's, to the world's, there we go. Oh. Can't even say it right. <laughs> yeah. So, I got another bike coming. I'm going to take the front here, Michelle. Okay. Uh, I will let you guys know, you know, if you've seen, been, been following him for uh, uh, any real time, you know, that uh, uh, we did all that maintenance and everything. You know, we changed the whole drivetrain and everything right before, I mean, right before we headed out on this uh on this trail. Somebody's and a cooking. Do what? I said somebody is a cooking. Oh yeah, yeah. But Sorry. Uh, what I did not mention to everybody is that I also added a few comfort uh, thing, two of us on your left. I did a little bit. Michelle, you appear to be clear all the way through. I did several things on my bike for comfort because since my surgery, I, uh, get that thing set down there. I've had some issues with my neck when I went back to starting to ride a little bit longer. I don't know, maybe it was just because I wasn't riding for a while. 
But I do know that this particular bike, you know, this is a, my Trek Marlin 7. It is set up in a more, we, we will call it an aggressive stance because it is a mountain bike. Michelle, I'm not gonna wait for this, but I will wait, being as that car is gonna turn. <laughs> and so that I don't get run over. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we're bikers, man. We, we don't, we ignore laws. That's what bikers do. But, I uh, was having some issue with my neck, so I decided to raise up the handlebars a little bit, and I actually brought them back some as well. Uh, let me take a peek right here. This is quite the urban section here. Yeah, for being out in little Spindale, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. But what I did was I put an adjustable stem on. You guys have all seen that. I already had a stem riser on this bike to just bring it up, I guess about two inches. And I uh, uh, put that adjustable stem on that brings it back a little bit more as well and not as far forward as the stock stem that was on here. But I, I, I told Michelle the other day about that. And I says, you know, I feel like I'm maybe taking, taking this bike away from being a, uh, good morning, more of a sporty, type bike, you know, like maybe a, a, an entry, an entry level sports bike, like a Mustang would be an entry level sports car. And I'm turning it into maybe a green station wagon, olive green, good morning, station wagon. What do you think, Michelle? What was it you was telling me? Well, wood paneling on the sides. A roof rack on the back. I got my Topeak bag it's back a here. It's story like a, of a do, man named Blaney. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a, uh, the, my Topeak bag, it represents my roof rack. And then I went, and today, uh, I put my Cloud 9 seat on for this ride today. I actually wasn't intending to use it, but I threw it in the car just in case because I was having a little bit of discomfort when I was riding. This guy is turning. I think he's letting All us right. go. I'm making it there, Michelle. Uh, so I put that on and I, I, and I told her that that's the final. That, that turns it, you know, that, that makes the six kids in the car, three boys, three girls, is this story a dog. Of a man named Blaney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And who might them six kids be? Well, let's just put it this way. The middle girl, she's a no talent. Now, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> but I am gonna stop down here for just a second, Michelle. Where? You know, let's stop down here. It looks like there's gonna be lights right there. Anywhere along through here. Okay. I just wanna give these guys and we'll hustle it right back up here in just a second. Okay. Anywhere along here is fine. But I'm going to step off and show these guys what we've done just real quick on the comfort side here. I'm going to just stop right here, Michelle. Let's stop up in the shade up here. Okay. So we'll catch back up to you and stop in the shade. So let me show you what we've done with this. For comfort, now this is, being as we was talking about you newer, newer guys to the channel, this is a Trek Marlin 7. We raised the handlebars up a little bit. It's the stock handlebars, and, and we drew them back. We'll come over to the other side here. Drew them back quite a bit. 
and raise them up even a little bit more. And then we've got the Topeak bag. We use that all the time. And then for comfort, I put this Cloud 9 comfort seat on here. And that's what got me talking about, you know, taking it away from, that's a little hair crooked. There you go. Taking it away from being a, a sporty type machine to that olive green wood paneling side, roof rack. Are we off again? <laughs> that Michelle was talking about. Yeah, let's roll it, Michelle. Yep. So, yeah, that's, that's what we're riding out here today. Looks like we're gonna kind of everybody hit right here at the same time. Got two of us gonna come by on your left. There we and a venting e-bike. And I believe we're headed towards the this end of the trail, Michelle, I believe. That didn't take long. Is more no 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 no. We're not at the end of it. I was we're gonna say, what, what the heck? You said it was like 30 mile ride. No, no, no. yeah, it, this is, I think we've routed it for like 20, 27, 28 miles. You ready to roll on, Michelle? Well, I mean, we're, you know, 17, 18 miles an hour is fine with me. So, I'm still having to get used to the new, new gear ratios on this just a little bit, but they're coming along all right. Uh, Cause this is like, this road trip is when we first started using them. It's geared a little bit differently than what it was before. But I just kind of thought that was funny when I said, you know, I feel like this was a sports car. And she said, yeah, you're turning it into a olive green station wagon, roof rack, uh, uh, wood paneling on the side. Then she started with that. There, here's a story of, you know, here's a story. <laughs> I thought, oh, hush up, girl, hush up. <laughs> so. Let's get back to this thermal belt rail trail. From what we understand, and Michelle, you've looked at this a little bit on our way here. Uh, this is really not a highly populated trail, is it? Yeah, but it's been a little busy so far for a Sunday morning. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, we're, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Uh -oh. But you know, look honestly, at these, look, at, look at it. Look at this tunnel that we're going through. This is where's the tunnel <laughs> right here. This a tunnel, tunnel of trees, a, a tunnel of trees. We know, what right a real, we know what a tunnel looks like. This. Yeah, ain't well, no I know. But you know what? It's not going to be feeling like a tunnel much anymore because these leaves are falling. Yeah, we're we're hitting this right, right around the peak season, aren't we, Michelle? Yep, just just about. Maybe maybe a little bit shy of it. Wonder if that was a little hint about anything. That yeah, might be. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Put down in the comments if you know anything about what that's a hint towards. And we hit the weather just fine, just perfect too. Because I got to tell you, that's in, right. In a couple of days, it ain't gonna feel quite so good out here. Yeah, it's we're. I think two days from now, which is going to be the last day of our road trip. We'll be we heading home gonna, that day. Yeah, we are going to get into some not as good a weather. Of course, where we're planning on riding, we could go there for the day from home if we chose to. It would, it would be a long day, but we could drive well, we've up done there it before. and ride that. What's that? Yeah, we've done it before. We've done and enjoyed it, every minute of done it. Done it before. Uh, but today, today, like right now, we are, we are, I'm in shorts and a sleeveless shirt. Yeah. You know, the high today is supposed to be 80 degrees. Yeah, and this is. The high on Tuesday is supposed to be 48 degrees. And I promise you, I won't be in shorts and a sleeveless shirt. You're clear there, Michelle. I can probably guarantee you I won't be on my e-bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I will at that temp. Well, I don't know. I was going to say, give to me a break. Once I get used to it. Yeah, we're looking for some warmer things to wear, too, though. But I will say, for people out riding bikes this time of year, right now I'm not too worried about it. 
Uh -huh. But if it were have just to have rained, you better be mighty careful on greenways that have this kind of leaf cover. Yeah, and you know, that's, that's actually very good uh, as a warning to go out there, especially if you're on a commuter type bike. You know, Michelle was riding a Rad City 5 Plus, and that has commuter tires on it. Well, it's a commuter bike, uh, and it could get pretty slick on these kind of things, or uh, wooden boardwalks, you know, when they get wet. How you doing today? Uh. People up here are quite friendly. Michelle, did you want to take the lead? Because I keep looking back and you're falling back. I'm trying to keep the speed that you wanted. Sure. So if you want to take the lead. Let us lead. <laughs> We've only got three miles left. Is it? No. Nah. Yeah. Let's kind of see. We started out, it said it was at Next six Next waypoint is 2.9, well, yeah, actually, Morning. that is kind of, in 2.95 miles, we're turning around. So yeah, we may only have that much room left. And then, then we've got to go in the other yeah, we got. Direction. Yeah, we're gonna go straight back past there and head down the other way. Uh, but you know, I'll say it again, and I said it on the last video, here in North Carolina, we're really blessed to have these kind of trails. Uh, but I will also say, I think a lot of states and a lot of cities do things similar to this, especially rail trails, because that's a lot of that is federal combined with state. And I would encourage you guys to look for these type of trails in your area, in your own area, because they are there. There's no question about that, which will bring me right into... Uh, Two how of you, us. How you doing today? Morning, morning. Two of us. Have a great day. Uh, which will bring me right into, you know, what I say all the time and everybody gets sick of hearing these apps, man, I love them. I love them. <laughs> I gotta tell you, the leaves out here are spectacular. Yes, they are. They are second to some others. Uh-huh. <laughs> That was another hint there, guys. I, t I tell you what, yeah, another hint. This is a, a really a nice little trail yeah, it right is. through here. And of course, this is all filled, you know, for the railroad. And you know, the railroads are just not as popular as they once were. And so that's why a lot of these lines have been abandoned. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. We're not surprising you. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, puppy. Uh, so, okay, I think what we're going to do here is we're almost up to the end of this one. Boy, look at this. That's I was going to cool. say, I was going to say, that's let's, very cool. Let's cut the video here for just a little bit and then pick it up in a little while. But wow, look how pretty this is. Wonder if that was the Blue Ridge Parkway at all. I doubt it. I did, did not notice it. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it goes through here. It's further. We're, we're not up in the mountains enough for that. We're not enough into the mountains for that. But boy, I, and you know, you can get into these places around where you live as well on a lot of these rail trails because that's, that's very common for a railroad to cut through a cut like that, you know, is not an uncommon thing. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop yapping here for a little while <laughs> and we'll just pick back up with you a little bit down the trail there. There's a lot, there's a lot of parking, parking sections on this trail. Pretty cool. So just as I but said, we were gonna turn this off I'm not sure whether there's another sign down there and there's steps leading to something. On the trail of gold. Okay. All right, we're gonna, Gotta go we're gonna have that thing shut up just a little bit. On the trail of gold, right here, drawn by the gold. I didn't know there was gold found in our rivers. Probably ain't none but no more. We're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what we've got down here. 
And I'm sure what it is is an old small gold mine because Piedmont of North Carolina is not exactly known. Well, they got something locked in there. I'll say that much for it. Yeah, but it's not exactly known as a oh. gold country. Uh, That's for sure. C.H.R. Fetchler Rutherford. Oh. The, it's the mystery tunnel. Was this Christer a gold mine? Oh, we got, I got to step down here and take a look at this. This looks cool, Michelle. What? This looks like where the zombies would be. They got something locked in there. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a downward mine. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's a downward mine. And I am going to assume it was a gold mine. So it says beyond this dark opening is a mystery tunnel. Oh, is that what it says? It's what Where it Where the says. zombies live. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm sure not going to offer the... The mystery tunnel. Okay, let me get up here kind of close into this. And if you guys want to read through that, I'm not going to read through the whole thing, but you can hit the pause right there and read through that. That's really interesting. Anybody wants to feel free and come explore, I am not going to be that person. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to get back on the bikes and head back out there. Let's do it. So a lot of, a lot of bike yards people We are getting to the end of the thermal rail belt or the yeah, the thermal rail belt trail on, on one side. This is the end of it right here. And so we'll be turning back. And I'm trying to think, I cannot recall if this is the south end or the morning. north end. Good morning uh, of it. That guy has a bike called a gazelle. We are officially We are officially on the Good morning. north end, I believe this is. Yeah, that looks like it says you are here on the north end. So this is the north end right here. Okay, so we're gonna pull off here and go investigate Flyboy's Pizza. It looks like they're open. Maybe. And we gotta find out where they're at too. But they've got their sign on the trail itself. Uh-oh. It's a brewery. Uh -oh. I see a open. lot of vats in there. Look like they yeah. could be brewing something. <laughs> well, I don't want beer, but I'll take, might take a cold Coke. So what open. is what here? Cool, interesting looking place. Yep, go check out the hours there, Michelle. Sunday, 12 to nine, nope. Uh, we're still a little too early, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait nine. This is for, Fly Girl. Is it? Br that's Fly Girl Brewing. Oh. Okay, well, there's, where's the fly boy so, pizza? <laughs> that's where the girls go. And this is fly boy pizza right here. It does say they are open. Michelle, if you want to go check that out. Does it? Well, I guess it does. I wouldn't mind having a little, little soda or something. Okay. So we're going to step up to the... Flyboy's Pizza here. See what it's like. Phew. Thank you, dear. Hello, dear. Hey, darling. There you go. Thank you, dear. And Appreciate I'll be right it. Back for your order. Thank, Thank you. you. Should have left this down there. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's see what they got at Flyboy Pizzas. No, I don't either. But the Coke sounded really good. I mean, something like uh, mozzarella sticks, pickle fries. Yeah, I'm thinking more along the lines of, you know, a uh, like a little appetizer. I don't That's know. That's what I just said. Yeah.
Actually, I'll probably just get a house salad. I don't want an appetizer. They're all fried and everything. Gotcha. So, this was Michelle's idea to swing by through here because she wanted a drink. But, uh, no, I didn't want a drink. It's a, it's <laughs> don't, a, don't no, say that. <laughs> hey. I'm not drinking and biking, folks. <laughs> don't and drink I don't, and ride. And I don't drink and drive either, <laughs> unless it's a Coke. But we are. Uh, so, what do you think of the place? Oh, it's, it's a cute it's little place. It's an adorable place. Yeah, it's a cute little place. The girl, the girl said, she said they have traffic through here. Yeah, they got a sign time. right along the yeah. Thermal Belt Rail Trail that they're open. And so they're catering to that crowd, which is what some of these towns here have done. And we heard that this, this was a sleepy trail, but I got I tell you, I, I'm, I ain't seen sleepy. Yep. Okay. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll out of the Flyboy Pizza. Definitely can recommend them. As a bonus, we had some extra live entertainment. So, at, at music, great blues singer. So, we're gonna head back out onto the trail. So, we made it to the south end of the Thermal Belt Rail Trail. And we've been right, that's right at about 22 miles from where we're at. So, we're gonna have our entire ride today will end up being right at about, you're good, right at about 28 miles maybe, something along those lines. Uh, rode it from end to end. So, Michelle, what's your thoughts? It's a nice, well-kept trail. It's a fast trail, but every what seems like every 50 feet there's a stop sign because of road crossings uh -huh. the whole way so about the time you get f uh, to full speed you are having to stop to make sure you're not getting hit by somebody and i will say a lot of these you know this more rural area is not accustomed to seeing bikes and so they don't think to stop i think they're more accustomed to it here well yeah that they're but getting that way yeah. So. All right. I would I would kind of agree with you. It's very interesting. Uh, very interesting. The one fly in the ointment is all the road crossings. We're going to put the number of road crossings, because I'm going to count them up on the map. And it's going to be right here. But honestly, very well maintained, very smooth, very good trail. I'll let you so, go first. So, I think with that, Michelle, we wrap up yeah. this one right here. And so, what are we telling them, Michelle? You do it. Stay safe. What else? Keep going. God bless. And... Don't make me do it. <laughs> yeah, you do it. Do it. Come on. What you got? What you got? What you got? Nothing. How about that? <laughs> Keep the wheels rolling. Have Once again, we're out.